Happy Friday, everybody! Big D, Daniel Ravenelli from 505 Cigar Review Show. And of course, here doing the ex exclusive content for Student of the Leaf. Today, good discussion topic. Let's talk about house plans. Yeah. This here is the Bella Vita. The Colorado. This is a house blend that's specific to my local shop in Fort Collins, Colorado, Edwards uh, Pipe and Tobacco. Um, this cigar, this has an Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper, and then it has a Dominican binder filler. Uh, Tim Johnson, who owns Edwards Tobacco, also owns a farm in the Dominican. He also owns his own manufacturing center in the Dominican. So, He's able to produce these relatively cheap, and that's the whole point behind house blends. Cheap. Some house blends are manufactured by big names in the industry. You know, if you're down in that, that Texas area, specifically in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, a lot of your house blends are made by Noel Rojas. And, of course, he makes banging sticks, and you're getting the sticks at almost nothing. Some uh, are throwaways or rejects that they just throw bands on. But these are handmade cigars using high-end premium tobacco, and you're paying a lesser cost than if it had a big-name band on it. Mm. Delicious stick. Has everything that you'd want to expect from a Connecticut, and it also has that just Dominican real taste that hits you on the back end. You know, the, the concept is to provide people who may not have a whole lot of money to drop a good quality stick that they run anywhere from 5 to $7, depending on where you're at. Some house blends are more. In Colorado, they have kind of a higher tobacco tax, so these run about 9 to $10. He has two different house blends on there. This is the natural, and then he has a Maduro as well. Um... They get a good look. It's a beautiful band, beautiful stick. You know, um, house blends. House blends tend to provide you with just something to get you by, but some are so good that you just buy in quantities. I buy these because, well, not only are the cost inexpensive on them, but they also taste good. And I've been picking them up for a while, and I've been sending them to people just as giveaways or in gifts, and people really like them. And so I end up in going back and buying handfuls to send to people all across the country that I meet during the cigar, uh, the you know, the cigar thing that we do. I do. You may do it too, but I do. Um, you know, uh, the one thing I like about house blends, besides the cost, is that when you get one that's really good, and some of them have distinct flavors, you're like, I know exactly who made this stick just based upon the taste, uh, uh, or if you know a little bit about the blend, where they come from. You know, Florida is renowned for its house blends that are made by some of the biggest names in the industry, just because, well, it's Florida, and that's where a lot of uh, cigar manufacturers are headquartered, are in Florida, so you tend to get a lot of good sticks uh, coming from people. Some of them are blends that just never materialized into uh, a full production run. Some are former production runs that then came that then uh, they've retired, but they still make the blend as a house blend. And there's a shop in Miami, and uh, I don't remember the name of the shop, but they had a house blend that was made by Pete Johnson of Tatawahe. And so they ran that house blend and that stick sold like gangbusters. It had this Mexican San Andreas wrapper on it. Well, Pete ended up pulling that as a house blend and that is what became the Mexican Experiment 1. So just because it may be a house blend, especially since Pete was just starting up, house blends are great because he could make them cheap. He's ingrained with that My Father's uh, my father Cigars, the Garcias. He's ingrained into uh, their culture. And to be able to manufacture a cigar cheap and then send it out for a house blend 
you know, some house blends end up just becoming uh, banging that they get pulled as a house blend and get branded out as a regular blend uh, that's available for everybody to buy. Um, some shops don't do it just because that's an added cost that they don't want to uh, put out. But Tim, being that he owns a farm, he owns a manufacturing center there, it just logical sense that I can put out some good sticks. And I've had some of other Tim blends. He does have regular production run sticks that are in stores. Uh, may not be where you're at, but along the Colorado Front Range and into Wyoming, uh, he has his own blend that's a couple of sticks that are out there. And they're very good. They're expensive, but they're good. You can taste really the difference. And I can taste the difference with his, these house blend sticks compared to his regular production run sticks, you know, that these good, but they don't top the quality that you're getting in the uh, regular production. I also buy a lot of house blend sticks for when I have people who come over and they want to smoke a stick. And if, you know, I don't want to give somebody a good stick that if they only smoke half of it and put it out, you know, then you kind of get mad. House blends are great sticks to pick up for people who just want to come over. They may want to hang out here in the lounge and then just, you know, and then they only smoke half the stick or they're putting it down or whatever. You know, I also take a lot of house blend sticks with me when I'm out traveling. If I'm out fishing, I have house blend sticks with me. Just not from Edwards Pipe and Tobacco. But I have other house blend sticks I take with me because if I drop the stick in the water while I'm fishing or I put it down and I step on it break, I'm not sad, you know. I'm sad that I, you know, I got to light another stick. But I'm not mad if I was out there with an expensive stick. But in reality, you should never really, depending on where you're at in the country, never pay more than ten bucks for a house blend. If you're, if you have, if you have, ex, if you're in a state like California or New York, where they have really high tobacco taxes, you know, ten dollars that's a great deal for you uh, on a stick, especially a house blend stick. And if it's good then it's totally worth it. Some house blends I've had have just been other trash and you can tell that they basically buy the, they'll go to the manufacturers and buy their rejects that weren't good enough to pass a test and then they just slap their own band on them and then sell you a stick for three or four bucks. But you can tell you, it, it burns weird, it goes out, it doesn't taste good. And they're just like, ah, oh, man, they're just house blends. But you're getting more and more uh, especially reputable tobacco shops out there that really are putting time and effort into putting out good house blends. Uh, OGT Cigars out in California. Now, Eric, you know, I was listening to him talk that for they have three house blends and a couple of them, it took over a year because they actually wanted to put out a good quality stick. And yeah, that price was a factor in it, but they also wanted to have a good smoke that if you showed up to the shop and you just wanted to pick something up quick, that you were going to get a good smoke. And so they spent a lot of time going over different blends and reblending and trying different sticks so that they could get a good stick to put out. And I got to admit, I've tried a couple of the OGT house blend sticks. They're very good. Very good. Their Connecticut stick is phenomenal. Uh, so, you know, don't sleep on them just because they're in that back corner and it says house blend. You know, don't, you know, grab them, try them. Because, you know, if you're just looking for sticks and you, you want something to smoke or you don't have a lot of money, a lot of these house blends are going to be really good. And they're going to provide you with what you need. Keep them in your humidor for when friends come over. Give them the house blend stick. Don't let them smoke your good stuff. If you're out and about and you're out in nature or you're fishing or whatever, take the house blend sticks. Why take your good sticks with you that you're going to risk damaging or you're put down and it goes out? At least I know with the house blend, if I got to relight it, I got to relight it. It's fine. But, you know, I'm getting to the point now with some of these house blends that I've picked up that... I almost feel like I'm getting a, I'm getting a, a high quality premium smoke. 
So my question for you guys who are out there watching is, does your local shop have a house blend? Mine does in Fort Collins. My local shop here in, in Wyoming does not have a house blend stick. Um, but, you know, I also can buy sticks here a lot cheaper than what I can buy in Colorado. But I get the bigger selection on the cigars that I'm looking for in Colorado. So there's this trade-off. I'm going to pay more for the sticks in Colorado, but I also am going to get a uh, better selection. But when I'm looking for something, they've got it. And I am not don't have to worry about shelling out a bunch of money because they tend to get it. Plus, uh, you know, it's also a Drew Estate, a lounge cigar shop. So they have all those limited and and special Drew Estate sticks in the Liga Pravadas that you can't buy elsewhere. So the trade-off, I can go down there and get some house blends in Colorado, but I can also get sticks that are hard to find elsewhere. And I've seen some, some shops that do sell online also sell their house blends online. They're becoming that popular people talk about it it's like man i picked up this house blend it's banging when i go to dallas i go to a couple shops their house blends are like i said made by noel rojas so i'm loading up on those sticks because they're good it's rojas you know when you get somebody like that who's just a genius and his brain thinks differently on his blending and you get something like dude this is phenomenal and here, you think you're getting an expensive smoke that you're dropping six bucks for. You know, you think you're getting a regular production line Rojas stick. You know, AJ Fernandez puts out house blends for some of the other uh, big cigar shops in Miami and Cal... Or, well, I'm just not Miami, Florida and California. And again, you're getting a $6 stick, which you think you're paying, you know, 13, 14 bucks for. And it has that signature... AJ taste you know and this stick it's really good it's smooth just creamy it has just that that light peppery Connecticut with that bready bread and butter type uh, taste that you normally would expect from a Connecticut it's it's a low medium bodied stick the Maduro it, it's a bit more, has a bit more oomph to it. It's more of a medium plus body stick. Uh, but this, this has what you want and what you're looking for. And so sometimes you just gotta, you gotta jump on the bandwagon to the house blends. You know, there's nothing wrong with house blends if they're good sticks. So where, where in the country are you guys from? And who makes your house blends if you know? I'm always interested because, because when you, you name drop somebody and it's a big name in the industry, you go, oh, and I'll, I try and find their website or I'll call them if, if they sell, if do they sell, do they ship? I always like to pick up house blends. I really do. You know, sometimes when you can't think about what to smoke, you grab a house blend stick and then you get a good smoke. And I'm like, man, this was a great stick. Sometimes you pick them up and they're not good at all. And you go, oh man, I can tell this came out of the reject pile. This came from, this was a, definitely if this was a production blend or a blend that they were trying out that just didn't pan out. And so they made probably a bunch of them and then sold them to a shop for pennies on the dollar. But for 10 bucks, I can tell you that this stick feeds my craving that I look for in a house blend and an inexpensive stick. It just, the taste is good. It's smooth and creamy. You know, it's a non-thinking stick. So if I just want to hang out here in the lounge, turn the TV on and not think, um, it's a great stick. I don't have to put in anything. You know, my brain is always on work mode, always on the review mode. I'm always just trying. So when I can just grab a stick and not think and just smoke and enjoy, you know, a house blend does that for you.
at least for me. So, do you guys like house buns? I'm curious to know. Leave your in the comments. Do you like house blend sticks? And if you do, do you know who makes your house blend stick? Do you seek them out when you go to shops? When you buy online, do you look at what their house blends are? Do you see who makes them? And what do you think? So, down in the comments, let me know. Guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me on Friday for a few minutes and talking about house blends. So, y'all take care. Be safe out there. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And I will see you next Friday. Peace out, everybody.